Now that we've finished off the legs, let's take a look at creating the terminal box design. I'm going to reuse my plane from the previous video, open items, and unhide it. Let's hide the front cap so it's not in the way. Select the construction plane, turn on Copy. Using the arrows, rotate it 90 degrees along the red x-axis. Turn Copy off and move the plane 100 millimeters up along the purple z-axis. Double tap on the construction plane. Draw a 60 millimeter long line along the Y axis, starting at the origin point. Lock it. Notice that we are right at where the fins start. The fins are 140 millimeters long, and I want my terminal box right in the middle. So I need to draw a 70 millimeter line. Once it's done, lock it. Tap on Rectangle. Make sure it is set to center and create one starting from the end of the 70 millimeter long line. To find the sides, the horizontal is 45 millimeters long, vertical is 50 millimeters. Go to 3D view by double tapping on the orientation cube. Open items and hide the planes. We won't need them. Now, let's subtract my box profile from the frame. Make sure you cut all the way through. Open items and move the newly separated fin parts back to the frame folder. Also, move the sketch plane to the sketches folder. Now, let's go back to creating the terminal box. Select the rectangle and extrude it downwards let's say 20 millimeters. Notice how we need to fill this hole on our cylinder. The best way to do this is by using the Replace Face tool. Go to Tools slash Replace Face. Select the face you want to remove from the body. Tap Next. Select the face you want to replace it with. Tap Done. In the next video, we are going to further refine the terminal box.